Okay guys, welcome back. So hopefully you got on okay with that little rhythm pattern that we looked at in the last lesson. We're gonna now put that alongside the next few bars. So we're gonna be looking today at bars one to eight of the whole section. So we're starting off with the part that we looked at next week and then taking it from there, just, just adding to that, just to, to give us that section. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly play what we're gonna play and then I'll break it down for you. So we've got this. <laughs> So, a few little bits and pieces there at the end of those things. We're going to look at that. I'm going to show you how to do that. But starting off, fundamentally, we're starting off with the, the rhythm that we started off with before. So we're starting off with that E major and E sus4 pattern. Which by now, hopefully, you'll all be pretty comfortable with, okay? So once we play that, so that's the first two bars, we're then going to move down to a D shape. Okay, same kind of shape at fret five, first finger at fret five, your third finger barring at fret uh, seven. And we're gonna, again, we're gonna be playing a sus four with our little finger, okay? So we're gonna play this. For the D section, we've got. We're just gonna play it once. Okay, so once we play that, We're going to play the full chord and let it ring out. So we've got this. Again, all down strokes. So I'm going to put that alongside the, the E major chord that we did looked at before. So we've got this. Okay, I'll slow that right down. Now, there's going to be one of Eddie's little tricks that he will put in at the end of, you know, anywhere there's a, a chord ringing out, he's going to do something. He's going to put something, a little bit of a trick in there or something like that. We're going to put a dive bomb in for the first one. Now, a dive bomb, we looked briefly at the dive bomb um, if you covered the, um, when we did the exercise, when we did the tapping, tapping at solo. Okay, so dive bomb, basically a tremolo arm depression. Okay, but we're going to use it with uh, harmonics. We're going to play some harmonics at the fifth fret on strings three and four, like so. Okay, and we're gonna depress the bar once we've hit the harmonics, okay? Now the trick here is being able to play those harmonics and get to the bar, you know, all within playing that those, those rhythm patterns. So I'm gonna play it from the beginning, slowly, and just show you how we're gonna get into that dive bomb. So we've got this. Okay, now I'm using my first finger there just because it's already in that position, it's already at fret five. So I'm gonna be using my first finger to, uh, to play those harmonics. So you're just lightly resting your fingers above, exactly above the fret itself. So the fret wire, you want your finger right above the fifth fret wire and lightly touching the strings and letting go and depressing the bar nice and smoothly, okay? So one more time, I'll play that with the E chord. Okay, and again, it's one of those things, if you don't quite get the harmonic, it's still gonna sound good, okay? So for example, if you played it. So even with just the open strings, it gives it, you know, it's a pretty dramatic sounding thing. So don't worry if you don't always hit the harmonic, you know. Guitar players like Van Halen, things, when they're doing these kind of things, they're never gonna play it the same way twice, even you know, in, in the re reality of things. Always try and aim for it, but if it doesn't go quite to plan, it's no biggie, okay? So let's have a look at the next part. So we're gonna do exactly the same thing. So bars four to eight, we're gonna be starting again back at the E major to the D. We're just gonna do a little different kind of tricky thing at the end. So I'll show you what we're gonna do for that. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah. 
and we're going to do a pick slide. Now, I'm playing with lower gain here just so I can teach the lesson so I can hear myself a bit more clearly. When you're going to be doing it, you want to have the gain set to a level so you can do these kind of the harmonic and, and the pick scrapes. The more gain you've got, so you don't want to overdo it with the gain, but the more gain you've got, the more dramatic, you know, the more you know, you're know, you going to get out of something like a pick scrape. So with the pick scrape, <clears throat> um, I'm, I'm basically going from around the 12th to sort of 15th fret and with the side of the pick, scraping up, up the strings, up to the back of the, or towards the bridge, and then back down. Okay, now on its own like that, it doesn't sound you know, great. It's a, something you've got to do when it's quick, and it's just a Okay, and the louder it is, the, you know, the better it's gonna sound. So let's have a look where we're gonna put that. We're gonna put it in exactly the same place as we put the dive bomb in the previous times around. So I'll put it uh, into context for you, so here we go. Okay, so let's put the whole thing together. Okay. Right then guys, so let's try and put that together. We're gonna to use a drum track, we're gonna um, slow it down and see how we get on with it. Okay, so hopefully that's going to give you some, some idea of how, of how he sort of plays those sort of kind of rhythm parts with the dive bombs and the, and the picks. It's getting in and out of those chords into the little tricky thing and, and back out. <clears throat> Take your time, just become, make sure it sounds natural and, uh, and yeah, so have a, good, uh, have a good practice at that. Try and keep the, keep the tempos down, build up the speed and uh, yeah, see you next time. Mm -hmm.